Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use the virtual lab workbench to mix your solutions for conducting each part of this experiment. First, you'll need to perform calculations though of how much stock reagent you need to meet, mix each volume of the solution at a specific molar concentration. So for this demonstration, I'm mixing 250 milliliters of a 0.1 molar concentration for both of my reagents. I'm going to start with reagent X. So to begin, I need to gather my distilled water from the stock room and I need a volumetric flask that is 250 milliliters. And I'm also going to need my solution of reagent X, which the stock solution has a concentration of one molar. And I have 100 milliliters here of that. So before I begin, I'm going to right click on my volumetric flask and rename it so that I can keep track of what kind of solution I have here. This is a 0 0.1 molar solution of X. So click rename. Now for my calculations, I determined that I needed 25 milliliters of this. So I'm going to type 25.0, making sure to put the 0, .0 so it's precise. Click pour and then move it out of the way. All right, now I need to bring this total volume up to the volume of the graduation, which is 250. So I'm gonna add distilled water. 250 minus 25 is 225.0 and pour that water and you can see now that the volume is at 250. all right so now you would repeat this process for the other solution okay so you can see here that i now have uh, another container volumetric flask that has 0.1 molar of y this is also 250 milliliters I'm done with my distilled water so I can remove that from the desktop. Now I'm ready to conduct some measurements of enthalpy. So I'm going to go to the stock room and I'm going to get a 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Now this is going to be in my reaction chamber. So to conduct an enthalpy experiment I need to first insulate my container. So this is acting as our calorimeter. Once you've insulated your reaction chamber, you're ready to start taking measurements. So as you can see, I've got this flask selected and I can see the starting initial temperature is 25.00 degrees C. So I'm going to now start my chemical reaction. So I'm going to add 100 milliliters of X, so 100.0. And then I'm going to add 100 milliliters of Y. Now, as you can see, my temperature has increased. Now, if your temperature has increased, this is telling you that this was an exothermic reaction because the temperature increased. It released heat energy um, to the surroundings. Okay. So now you can perform your calculations to determine the enthalpy of this reaction.